Now, from the President's perspective, Iraq is just a war. And he's real happy General Petraeus is over there, because General Petraeus is a general, and George Bush always listens to generals. <laughs> he's told you that. And when he, gets, when he gets tired of listening to him, he replaces him. I know these guys, they're all my friends. Many of them have worked for me or worked with me, and, and I admire them, and they're doing a terrific job, and I admire Dave Petraeus. He's a fine officer. But he's going to do his best to make the surge work. That's his duty, and I think you can see by the results that where you put American troops, they're competent, they're capable, they're well-led, they're well-motivated, they're fearless, they do their duty, and, of course, they do make a difference. If you're a terrorist or you're al-Qaeda in Iraq or you're the Mahdi's army and you come face-to-face -face with American troops, you're in trouble. You take a shot at them, they shoot back. You miss, American troops hit. Yeah, our soldiers, they hit what they shoot at. They're trained to do that, and they're good, and I'm proud of them. But what we've got to do is create not an argument in the United States over the troops or their tactics, but raise the debate to the administration's strategies and policies in this region. Here's why. We can't succeed in Iraq with the numbers of troops, no matter how good they are, because you can't succeed in this war just by killing people or intimidating the opposition. Dave Petraeus will be the first one to tell you that. The military is part of the solution. It's not the answer. The answer is the politics. The politics inside Iraq are not just people who are afraid. It's not just a group of people who say, gee, if I, just, if I could just let my kids go to school, I wouldn't have to join a militia. Maybe there's some of that, but there's a lot more than that going on. This is a power struggle within religious factions. It's a power struggle between religious factions, and it's a geostrategic struggle between different nations in the region, all playing out on the ground in forms of violence, intimidation, blackmail, corruption, payoffs, influence, health care, coaching, counseling. There's no telling how many different intelligence agencies and means of action and influence from different nations are present in Iraq. It's a whole lot more than the number of nations participating in our coalition. I can promise you that. And so we're not going to solve this problem unless we work it at the diplomatic level. And that means we've got to stop isolating people we disagree with and start engaging those people. <laughs>